Please welcome Bill Carter. Welcome. It's great to be back uh, at the summit again and see all the friendly faces and uh, put a name and a face to, together. Uh, we've been working together for a, in a lot of different projects and, and open forums um, this year. I want to thank Kashagra uh, and really the entire Microsoft team for um, the contributions that they're making and the work they're doing um, in this community. It's uh, really appreciated and they, uh, they've done a fantastic job. So again, thanks Kashagra and the Microsoft team. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to announce a couple of new projects that we kicked off recently. Uh, security being one of those. Um, the threat landscape is changing, and as uh, I was mentioned earlier, it changes every day. Um, our security features have been traditionally limited to uh, secure BIOS and BIOS execution. Um, and, uh, and now, with uh, Cerebus, we have the opportunity to establish uh, and use root of trust hardware, hardware. It's a new opportunity for us that we need to embrace. Uh, we also have mutable firmware throughout our systems today. It's present in a dozen of devices, uh, such as hard drives, non-volatile memory, uh, device controllers throughout the boards and, and systems, uh, and even pluggable optics. At the end of the cable, there's, there's now firmware that goes in the, the optic modules. Uh, as we move hardware around the globe, uh, that introduces uh, threat opportunities and security breaches. Uh, when we expose that hardware uh, to, uh, you know, different transportation folks and, and people that are handling that. Uh, and so there's an opportunity to, uh, um, uh, to, to address that, address transportation and, and handling. Um, and we need to really make sure that we verify the chain of custody from the factory through commissioning, through decommissioning, and, uh, and just as important through um, the, the repurposing or reselling of, of that hardware uh, after decommissioning. Um, so I'm happy to announce that uh, we have a very active group uh, that's come together in the last three weeks uh, and we, we're, we're putting together a security project. You'll have an opportunity to hear more about that in the engineering workstations, I'm sorry, engineering workshops tomorrow. The other project that I'm announcing is our open system firmware project. Um, this group is really peeling open what uh, you have probably known as BIOS. Uh, we're going to look into ways to open source uh, the code that does chipset initialization um, and look at opportunities to relocate uh, the binaries that are part of that uh, chipset initialization and so that we have uh, really a, a system that we can use and, and a firmware source tree that we can use uh, for a variety of platform and platform types. And, and processor types. Uh, we also want to look at streamlining the platform code, code like UEFI. Uh, it's been, some of that code's been open sourced for many years and uh, through the work of, of uh, our industry giants and particularly companies like Intel and Microsoft, they're uh, anxious to get, a, get on board and, and work with the community to open source and, and uh, streamline the UEFI process. We're also looking at opportunities to take advantage of a recently um, announced project under the Linux Foundation called Linux Boot, and uh, this op represents an opportunity to actually substitute uh, some of the uh, boot structure and initialization and use that Linux Boot core, uh, and, and actually replace and use the open source drivers that are embedded in Linux to, to perform some of that functionality. So we're really building a toolbox of, of options that uh, system uh, designers and, and uh, embedded software engineers have. Uh, by creating this open source firmware stack, we also believe that we're scaling the number of embedded software developers that we have. Uh, and that's, I think that's very important for our industry to um, be able to scale like that. Uh, so far, we have a lot of collaborators. And by the way, this is just a partial list. Um, and I apologize if, if you've uh, attended the phone calls uh, and, and pr participated in some of the meetings the last four weeks that we've had. Uh, as an open source group, we don't track who calls in, and it's kind of hard to go back and catch everybody that's been involved. But we've had a very active group, a lot of active conversations going on, and I thank everybody for that. So again, just a partial list. I do want to call out uh, two companies, and that is Microsoft and Google. Uh, both of those companies have been 
um, have offered up their engineering staff and they're serving as the uh, co-chairs for, for both of these projects. So thank you. Um, thanks a lot for that. Um, so anyway, uh, again, what Kashagra mentioned, there's opportunities to learn more about uh, security. We have a session tomorrow on, on open source uh, firmware we're talking about. Um, we actually have a, uh, a panel discussion this afternoon uh, where we're going to talk about just open sourcing firmware in general, looking at BMC, uh, uh, system BIOS or firmware security and, and other opportunities. That should be a lively discussion with a, a great set of panelists. Um, so look forward to that. With that said, I'd like to invite Rocky back on stage to introduce our next guest. Thank you. <laughs>